Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here with a haul. This is going to be quite a long haul. In fact, I'm going to do it in two parts because it's just too much. Um, I went to Sacramento. I live in Reno, so I drove to Sacramento to join some of our crafty friends down there and go to Scrapbook Expo. And I left on Thursday and I got home on Sunday. It was just a really great time. Um, I'm going to tell you who I met and went with and then I'll show you as we go along day one, day two, day three, whatever of shopping because there's so much stuff. <laughs> we really, really did a dent, all of us, not just me. We all did a dent. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was hosted by Mimi, who is Mimi's Paper Creations on Instagram, and she and her husband invited me into their home. So Mimi, I thank you and Al so much for hosting me, and you were so nice and nice of you to you know, not only put me up, but also haul me around. So thank you so much for that. Um, we met with Deb, who is Hanava Crafty Designs on Instagram, and her two friends, Linda and Robin, who don't have Instagram, but it was nice meeting you both. And hi, Debbie. And then we also went with Patrice, who is Tracy's Crafty Life on YouTube and Instagram. We met with Erica, who is Mommy Jedi 11 on Instagram. We met with Christian, Christian's Crafty Adventures, here on YouTube and Instagram, and Mary, who is Sweet Gerber Daisies, on Instagram. It was so much fun. Um, so what happened was I drove down on Thursday, and I went to Mimi's house, and Mimi and I sat and chatted for a while, and then her and I went out to Daiso, and we went to um, Michael's, and then we went to dinner and back home, and that's all we did on Thursday. So I'm going to show you what I got at Daiso, and it wasn't a whole lot. They didn't have much to choose from this time. I mean, nothing that I was interested in. Um, they had these boxes, which are desk organizers, but they had all different sizes and shapes, and so I bought two of, you know, one pack of that. Uh, I picked up some double-sided tape. These are the, I think it's the fourth quarter inch size. I mean, there's two rolls in there, so I got that. I picked up this pretty tool ruffled trim. And this trim right here with the little white daisies. I picked up these really pretty pom-poms, and I wish I'd gotten two of them, but I only got one. Um, but they're sparkly pom-poms in pastel, really beautiful. I got these buttons, and I do have pastel buttons from um, Daiso, but they're small. These are larger, so I wanted to have those. Uh, I picked up these bags. Um, Mimi suggested them. They are really good size, actually. You get 60 in here, and you get pink and blue polka dots, and that's kind of their measurement in centimeters. Really nice bags, actually, so I was happy to get those. Um, they had Christmas trees in pink and mint for a dollar, and I had to have them. They were so kind, tiny and cute, and so um, I grabbed those. And then the last two things I got were something that reminded me of my daughter's childhood because her whole bedroom I did in the theme of Kiki and Lala, who are twin stars, if you're familiar with them. So when I saw these, it was very nostalgic for me, and I had to pick this up. This is like a little pill box or something. And then they had this keychain also with Kiki and Lala, and I thought it was just adorable. So I had to go ahead and pick that up as well, probably give them to my daughter, and she'll probably cry because she'll remember that time. So anyway, that's all that I got um, that at Daiso that day. As I said, it was meal, slim pickings, and mostly a lot of their stuff was empty. So anyhow, that was that. And then uh, Mimi and I ran into, um, uh, what do you call it? Michael's, because we wanted to get some, well, we were looking for a couple of things. The Recollections Silent Night, or I think that's what it's called, paper. Couldn't find it. We went for sprinkles. We couldn't find those. They were Christmas sprinkles. They didn't have any in their, in their stock. They were out of the ones that I was looking for. Um, I had purchased this before at Michael's in my area, and then that's all that they had at my Michael's was Santa, but when I went to hers, they had the reindeer and the snowman, so I was so happy to complete the little set of three. So those are from um, from Michael's, and they're $1.99 each. So that's that. And then the other thing I got were some... Where are they? <laughs> Sorry. You know what? I don't know where they are. There's some wooden leaves um, so I will show you those whenever I come across them. I have no idea where they ended up in this chaotic mess. Um, but they're really beautiful fall leaves, and I was really happy to have those because they're 
they're so pretty but anyway um other thing i got at michael's was they have pink foil look at this you guys it's pink it's so pretty it's brand new it just came out and they had buy one get one half off so i took advantage of that and got two it is gorgeous so that was michael's and that's all we did and then we went over to um bj's restaurant and we had dinner and we went back home the next day, we went back and um, we went to Expo in the morning. We went with Deb, Robin, Linda, Patrice, um, Mimi, myself, and then we met um, Erica while we were there. And so it was so fun. We had a great time. Um, there weren't many vendors there at all. It was pretty slim pickings, actually. Um, didn't still stop us from spending money because we spent money anyway. But it was really fun. Oh, here's those sleeves from Michael's right here. Aren't they gorgeous? And they were like wood veneers. They're really pretty. And they were on sale, so I picked those up. Okay, so anyway, back to Expo. Um, this is on the second day, which is Friday. So we, we get to Expo, and it's kind of small. And we started shopping. And, of course, we did a lot of damage. Not just me, but everyone. And um, the Deb and her two friends took a class, but Patrice, uh, Patrice, myself, and Mimi, we just shopped around. We didn't um, bother with classes. When you go in, they give you a bag, and usually they used to give you a bag filled with stuff because I've been before. Um, this one says Spectrum Noir on it, which I don't even think they had a booth there. I think someone had their stuff, but I don't think they had a booth. Um, but this was that. And then look at this crud. <laughs> they give us this pin for the expo, and look at the year. It was from 2020. They couldn't even give us a 2021. Go figure. I guess they didn't want to waste their money from 2020 since they didn't have one. So they, they gave us that. But anyhow, whatever. It is what it is, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm just going to start showing you stuff from the expo. I don't know booths and all that stuff. And I'll just show you stuff that I picked up. This were from the Islet Outlet. And they're beautiful bling brad. I got these from the Islet Outlet, which are just these pretty little pink hearts. These here, I got these in um, this goldish color and in white. I got two of the white, and then I got one of the blue right there. Really pretty. Um, they were so cheap. Everything was kind of cheap. I picked these up. I'm not sure where, but I got these anyway. These are so sparkly, and they're individual, so you can use one at a time. Really pretty. Um, I didn't pick up too much of Doodlebug. I'm not a Doodlebug fan, but boy, did they have a lot of Doodlebug. Um, I did get these and mainly because I wanted this one and this one. I'm not so crazy about those, but whatever. Um, they're just super cute. I got the stove because I have the collection and I got the milk and cookies. I have this collection. That's the only collection I think I have, or maybe one other, the crafty, but the six by six. Um, and I bought this one here, the little, um, luggage. And you can see the prices weren't any cheaper than what you buy in a store. If you could get them in a store. Um, I got these from Islet Outlet. They're just some little bow stickers. I think these weren't even a dollar. They were less than that. I picked these up and I was able to purchase the colors I wanted and I really love this thinner sparkle washi so I was happy to be able to choose the colors I wanted which was nice. Um, someone was selling some trim and I just picked up a couple pieces of this one. I thought it was so pretty the edging. I love it. So I got that one and this one here. It's same kind of thing different fabric really pretty um let's see i got a bunch of eyelids from the eyelid um outlet because the, i needed them for i they we wanted more but they didn't we thought they'd have colors and all that they didn't so i only was able to pick up these few um from them i got some tiny little pink brads from them i did pick up a lot oh i picked up these epoxy stickers which were pretty cute um, and then the brads I got were the snowman, the woman and the man snowman. So those were super cute. I got the gingerbread brads. They're adorable. Um, I got Santa and Mrs. Claus right here. Oops, sorry. Santa and Mrs. Claus. I picked up the Christmas trees. I picked up the rabbits. I got these hearts right here. Oops, sorry. Then they had these little speech bubbles that say Merry Christmas, Let It Snow, etc. But those were really cute. And then they had the bees, which are adorable. And then I picked up um, from another place. I know these came from another place. They had, oops, I don't want to lose that. 
they had these um, charms. This is a teapot and some other goodies in there. I don't even know, a pear and some other stuff. Then there's, these are both Christmas, and I got, you know, one of each of the Christmas designs because they're different. So super cute. Uh, one of the stores was selling these, and these are so gorgeous. It's chunky, glittered, full pleather, you know, but oh my gosh, the color is gorgeous. And they had so many beautiful ones, but I just, I have so much from Hobby Lobby, I couldn't justify buying more, but except the pink one. I had to have the pink one. That's some of the stuff. Let me continue because it goes on. Um, <laughs> so Photo Play had um, these for $3 each. They're um, six by six pads. I love French Flea Market by Julia Nutting. This was probably one of my favorite things. So I was really happy to get this in um, a six by six pad. And um, they're double sided, which makes it super nice. So I got three of those. I couldn't resist. Um, this was a freebie for shopping there. I got to pick what I wanted out of a few items, so I chose this pad here. I picked this one up for $2. I mostly wanted the dragonfly, but it does come with a butterfly heart and banner. I bought these two 6x6. These are Not a Creature with Stirring. Super cute little Christmas collection. I figured I'd put it away for whenever. I don't know that I'll use it this year, but it is adorable. And it was too good to... Um, the prices were just too good to pass. You just, you know, you couldn't help it. But look how cute this is. Adorable. So I got two of those. I also picked up the ephemera pack. I think these were $2.50 for the same collection. And then I got the 12 by 12. They were 4 for 20 So this is one that I chose here. And that gingerbread house is adorable. Here, I'll show it on the side right there look at how cute that is and the reindeer and the mice I have the stamps for this so I'm really happy to have the the paper to go with it I had bought the stamp because I couldn't resist the mouse now I have the paper so that was great I got this collection which is love letters I do have the stamps for this as well because I really love the mailbox and the birdies that came on it so now I have the paper collection to go with it for Valentine's Day super cute and then I got the ephemera pack as well to go with that one. Man, you guys, it was crazy. <laughs> um, this is another, my favorite, one of my favorites of photo play. It's Vintage Girl. And they only had two and I bought them both. I could not resist because I love the eclectic look of this pad together. And here's the back if you want to look at it. Sorry, it's on a slant. I can't get too close to my tripod. This is another one I picked up called For the Love of Winter. I think this one was $3.50 if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it was the part of the other thing. But it's very wintry and very nice. I sometimes think it's nice just to have winter and not necessarily Christmas stuff. But winter is fun. So I picked that one up. For Easter, I bought the Bunny Trail. I thought it was so cute and fun and spring colors and just really lots of fun. The bunnies are adorable. Look at the bunny. They are so cute. There's chickies and his bunny butt right there. So cute. So pick that one up. And then last, I think, from Echo Park, I mean from paper, uh, Photo Play, was this pad. This was $2. And um, I think these will go great with Snow and Coco. I should have probably got another one because they're so cute. Um, to use as a accompaniment to Snow and Cocoa and maybe to Feeling Frosty that's coming out. I don't know yet till I see it. Uh, I also picked up a bunch of singles. I am not going to bother to go through them all because there are stacks of them, but they were 50 cents to, some of them were 50 cents and some were a dollar a piece. I'm just going to kind of go through. There were some Frank Garcia and some um, Julia Nutting and I don't know, some other stuff was in there. So I, I got a bunch of that. I'm always looking for collections of things by people that are not known. I like that kind of thing. And this was from a place called K&C Essentials. I do know they're on YouTube and all that. I just don't, I haven't researched them yet. But oh my gosh, this lady, this is her second collection. And it is so pretty. Look at the little houses. And it's just a really beautiful collection. I was really happy. So I bought it in the 6 by 6 but I also bought a couple of single sheets that were in there. And then I bought the ephemera to go with it. And look at this little snow buddy. He's so cute. Look at him. 
it's a super cute collection. So I was really happy to um, purchase that. And then also I've never heard of this one, which is called um, Kawaii Paper Goods. And it's Autumn Wishes. And I don't want to use it this year because it's kind of kind of not time for me to use it. I mean, it's I'm, I won't have time, so it's for next year. But it is gorgeous. I wish they'd had it firmer to go with it because I would have picked it up. So I'm going to try to research it online and see if I can find it. But it's just stunning. Um, this is one of the papers. It's more like a watercolor kind of look. It's gorgeous. So anyhow, that was from there. And then i got to move some of this because there's still more. I'm not done yet. This other collection I'm dying to show you. It's gorgeous. So there's this lady. She's on um, YouTube and Instagram. Her name is Johanna Rivero. I've been following her for some time. She's Spanish speaking, um, but she is the most bubbly, fun, cute, whatever her. She does a lot of things in Spain. That's where she lives. And she does live shows and stuff. And you should see her setups. If you get a chance, go to her channel. It's amazing. She has a collection out this year, and it was called Christmas Rose. I've had it in my basket at um, at Cherry on Top. It's by Stamperia. Um, and I just, when I saw it, I was like, yep, I need it. And it's so pretty. These are some of the paper designs right there. And then these are some of the others at the bottom. Look at how adorable these are. And look at the camper. It's so cute. So I got the 12 by 12. It was expensive here. It was $25, but the girl rang it up at $16.99. When she caught her mistake, she told her mom, and her mom said, oh, just let it go. So they gave it to me for $16.99, so that was a good thing. Um, it came with, it had some stickers. I got these that were so cute that I wanted to have the sticker. Or this is like a thinner chipboard. If you It's not chipboard. It's like a cardboard or something real thin. But um, I wanted to have that, so I picked those up. Um, I got the paper in a, let's see, a 12, uh, 8 by 8 size, so I was really happy to get the smaller version. And here you can kind of see better the papers in the collection if you're interested. It's so cute, you guys. It's a cute collection. So that, and then I picked this up, and you guys are going to want I'm going to flip through this because I want you to see it. It's so cute. They have this booklet that goes with it. These are all fussy cuts, so you have to cut them yourself. But they're not too bad in size, so they're easy to cut. But look at how adorable these are. I just have to show them to you. They're so pretty. Look at the choo-choo train. The garlands. Oh, so cute. And the little kitty has antlers on. So cute. Flowers. Look at the houses. And the teapot house. Cute. Here's the Volkswagen, adorable. And look, it has the big shot and the caddy thingy to carry your, tote your things. Some crafty stuff there. Cute. And then it has words in English and words in Spanish. So really, really cute. I also bought the ephemera pack, the chipboard that goes with it because I bought two of them because I love it so much. I'm not going to go through them all, but just show you maybe a couple. So you get a couple sizes. I think you get a big one and a small one of this. And I think the other things that are large, you get two sizes like Santa. There's a large Santa and a small Santa. There's the trailer. So it's super adorable. And I think you get... Uh, it doesn't say how many pieces, but there's a ton of pieces in there. It's just a lot. So super cute. If you want it, it's on cherry on top. Okay, let me keep going. I'm not done yet. <laughs> There's still more. Um, so then the last um, expo stuff that I purchased was at Rubbernecker. You got buy four, get the fifth free. And so I picked up some stamps, which was this this one here, the rubber stamps. So I got this background stamp, this one here, which is cheesecloth. This one here, which is cobblestone. I bought this die, which is a barn. I haven't really ever seen a barn, so that's super cute. And I got this truck, which um, the truck, you it's just the rear end of the truck, but when you put it together, everything kind of stacks up, and it looks so cute when you put stuff in the bed of the truck. It's really adorable, so I was happy to get that. And then if you shop before a certain time, they give you a freebie die, and this was it. So that's what I got from them, and that's what I got from Scrapbook Expo. Their food was so expensive, I had nachos, which consisted of tortilla chips and 
cheese sauce and, and a water, and it was $15. It was ridiculous. But anyway, it is what it is at those things. And then we went, as if we didn't have enough shopping at Expo, we decided to run into Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to show you what I got there really quickly, and then I'm going to end this video because I need to end it. It's too long. So here I picked up a couple of sheets of paper, uh, those... And I got some of these. This is what I'm using for Christmas this year as my theme. So I wanted to have a couple of those. Um, I got some, whoops, some ornaments. Sorry, I'm going to try to go quickly for my daughter. Um, I thought this was beautiful, this Santa. And the ornaments were 50% off. So I picked up that one. And I think I picked up one other one, which is this one. So those were the ornaments. And then I picked up... Um, some gingerbread shapes, the little cookie cutters, they were 50% off. This one too. Uh, picked up oh, another ornament that they have here, this one here, which is adorable. The little gingerbread on the, the pan. I got some mini peppermints. I got these acrylic candy canes. I picked up this die. I had wanted it here in town, and then I didn't get it, and they had it, so I ended up picking it up there. And then last but not least, to round off this video, I got the mint gumball machine. I was so excited because I really wanted this mint one in the worst way, and my store didn't get them. So, yay! And they were $5 because it's half off Christmas. So, Yay, I was so excited about that. So thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned to the next video. Day three, we went to a scrapbook store that was fantastic. And we did some other shopping I will get to in the next video. So I'll see you there. And until next time, do it makes you happy. Bye for now.